Hello guys! Good afternoon! This is Miss Mel. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. So, ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay ang Quarter 2, Lesson 2 of Week 8, Mathematics Subject para sa Grade 5 Students na may pamagat na Equivalent Ratios. A ratio is a relationship between two numbers or items, usually involving some kind of measurement. For example, when people drive, they travel at a certain speed. We usually refer to that speed as miles per hour. That is a ratio because it shows a relationship between distance and time. After going through this lesson, you are expected to identify and write equivalent ratios. There are ratios that can be formed based on pictures. Study the pictures below. The first one is 8 is to 10. So, meron tayong 8 frogs is to 10 chickens. And 4 is to 5. So, for every 4 frogs, meron tayong 5 chickens. You can write the given ratio in fraction form such as 8 to 10 or simply 4 to 5. Now, what is the relation between the two ratio in the previous part? Let us reduce the ratios to lowest terms by dividing the both terms of each ratio by their GCF. So, 8 is to 10. Ang terms ng 8 is to 10 ay 8 at 10. Ang greatest common factor ng 8 at 10 ay 2. So, i-divide lang natin. Divided, 8 divided by 2 and 10 divided by 2. The answer is 4 is to 5. So, 4 is to 5 is already in lowest term. So, masasabi natin na 4 is to 5 is equal to 8 is to 10. In the equality of ratios, A is to B is equal to C is to D. Now, A and D are called the extremes while B and C are the means. So, ito yon. A and D are the extremes. B and C are the means. Kapag sinulat naman natin siya sa colon form, ito siya. So, A and D are the extremes. B and C are the means. In equal ratios, the product of the means is equal to the product of the extremes. Using the equal ratios above, we can see that the product of the means, 10 times 4 equals 40, is equal to the product of the extremes, 5 times 8 equals 40. So, ito yon. 4 is to 5 is equal to 8 is to 10. So, multiply natin ang extremes, which is 4 at 10, equals 40. At ang means, 5 times 8 equals 40. So, for our learning task 1, write the equal sign in the circle if the given pair of ratios are equal and not equal sign if not. 
write your answers in your notebook. Para sa ating items 1 to 5, ansaran natin ang number 1. So, 64 is to 12 and 80 is to 15. So, again, ang process natin ay multiply ang extremes. 64 times 15 equals to 960. 12 times 80 is equal to 960. So, ibig sabihin, 64 is to 12 is equal to 80 is to 15. Para sa ating line item, 6 to 10, answeran natin ang number 6. We have 8 is to 12 and 10 is to 15. Same drill, i-multiply ang extremes. 8 times 15 equals 120. And 12 times 10 equals 120. So, ibig sabihin, 8 is to 12 is equal to 10 is to 15. Now, feel Fill each box with the correct number that will make equivalent ratios. Write your answers in your notebook. Ito ang ating learning task 2. Para sa ating line item 1 to 5, we have blank is to 7 is equal to 24 is to 56. So, gawin natin n yung nawawalang number. Multiply ang extremes, n times 56 equals n56, and 7 times 24 equals 168. So, para makuha natin ang value ng n, 168, divided by 56 is equal to 3. So, ang nawawala nating number, n is equal to 3. That means, sa ating number 1, we have 3 is to 7 is equal to 24 is to 56. Para naman sa ating line item 6 to 10, answeran natin ang number 6. 11 is to blank equal equals 330 is to 450. So, 11 times 450 is 4,950 and N times 330 is N330. Para makuha ang value ng N, 4,950 divided by 330 that's equals to 15. So, ang nawawala nating number or N is equals to 15. So, para sa ating number 6, that's 11 is to 15 is equal to 330 is to 450. Para naman sa ating learning task 3, Solve the given problems. Write your answers in your notebook. So, answer na natin ang number one. Two numbers are in the ratio 2 is to 3. If the bigger number is 6, what is the smaller number? So, para sa ating number one, meron tayong pattern. We have small number is to big number is equal to small is to big. So, ang binigay sa atin, ang given natin ay 2 is to 3. So, 2 is the small number and 3 is the big number. So, that's equivalent to N, ang small number, yan ang hinahanap natin. At, ang, at binigyan ulit tayo ng big number na 6. So, multiply natin ang extremes. 2 times 6 equals 12. 
Multiply ang means 3 times n equals 3n. Para makuha natin ang value ng n o ng nawawalang number, we have 12 divided by 3. That's equal to 4. So, ang ating small number ay 4. Para naman sa ating number 2, what number compared with 8 is the same as 6 compared with 24? So, ang nawawalang number natin, n is to 8, is equal to 6 is to 24. n times 24 equals n24, and 8 times 6 equals 48. Para makuha natin ang nawawalang number, 48 divided by 24. That is equal to 2. So, ang nawawalan nating number ay 2. Ibig sabihin, 2 is to 8 is equal to 6 is to 24.